If you want to make a forced copy link of a Google Doc or a Google Spreadsheet and you want people to have to copy it to their own Google Drive instead of using your own document, there are two ways to do it. The first way is good for anyone in the online space, an educator, what have you. The second way is the better way to do it if you're an online course creator, membership owner. Step one is you open the Google document, then you click share. Now down here where it says general access, you'll want to click there and click on anyone with the link and then copy that link and hit done. Now you'll paste that link. Before you share it though, you need to make a tweak to the ending of that link. And you see this part on the end where it says edit question mark sharing? Highlight that whole part. Don't highlight the forward slash and type copy. Take that link and put it into the explorer bar and hit enter. Ta-da! Now the second way that you need to do this if you're an online course creator is much better in my opinion. And let me explain why. If the person who gets this link makes a copy, every time they come and click this blue copy button, it's going to make a new document in their Google Drive. If you're an online course creator and you have a lead magnet to share and you have links to that lead magnet in every email, you might not want somebody to be forced to copy the link and they just want a preview. Here is how you make a preview link. It's pretty cool. So let's start from scratch. You go to share, you have your anyone, the link is a viewer, you copy that link and then you go to your document. We'll get back to the video in less than 10 seconds. Hi, my name's Quajo. I'm the host of the Art of Online Business podcast. And if you are an online course creator, an online membership owner, or an online coach, you should subscribe to this YouTube channel or the podcast, link in the descriptions below. Now, when you highlight the edit question mark and everything following, you want to type in template forward slash preview. Now watch what happens when I copy that and paste it into the address bar. Instead of just getting a blank force copy link like this one, they now get a preview with a blue button to select use template. And if they click use template, then a copy is saved. YouTube thinks you should watch this video right here. And until we see each other again, or you see me, I'm the host of the Art of Online Business podcast. Be blessed.